Hello and welcome to the first episode of Up Ready in Wild. Um, today on our first episode I'm going to be talking about the bug out bag. This bag is my personal bag. Uh, this is great for natural disasters, for hurricanes, tornadoes, power outages, or for any event that you need to bug out for whatever reason. This is my personal pack. It weighs approximately 17 pounds, a little bit more probably give or take. This is a comfortable weight for me. Um, I have made sure that the things that I have selected to put in it do not go over 20 pounds, which is pushing it if I need to carry it for a long way. To talk about the most important tools of uh, the bug out bag, um, you have the backpack, and that is going to be your most important tool. It doesn't matter if it is a $5 backpack or a $500 backpack. It doesn't even matter if it's empty or full, and it doesn't even matter if you've got it second hand. You can, you can go and buy one at Goodwill, and they are washable as well. Um, the most important thing is to have a good backpack so you can pick things up along the way. If you find things to be able to carry your gear, backpack is really important. So I'm going to go ahead and start unboxing my backpack. Um, I have five bug out bags um, in total. I have two adults and three children in my family. I'll do a later video talking about uh, packing a bug out bag for children as well. I have three of them and they have various ages. So we'll talk about the weight ratios for little kids and what they should carry. Um, etc. So I'm going to go ahead without further ado and start unboxing my bag. I'm going to go ahead and start about uh, the things you see on the outside. Um, you can see there's various things here so I'm just going to kind of jump right in. So first thing I'm going to be talking about uh, is the my cookware. I'm going to clip it here because the main things that you want to be able to provide for yourself in the event of an emergency is food, shelter, and water very very important. So this is one for food obviously. You need to be able to cook food. You need to be able to heat up the things you take with you. You need to be able to boil water and this is a very good little cook set that I got at Walmart. About 10 bucks is an Ozark Trail. Um, it comes with two pots um, that nest right down inside of each other with a lid that fits both pots. So it comes in really handy. Nice little silicone handles with a nice mesh carrying bag. Easy to clean. This is another little this is a cup you can also purchase at Walmart for five dollars. Uh, very good for just for drinking, transporting water, whatever you need to do with it. And it also nests perfectly right down inside this cookware set. So that's kind of handy so you're not taking up too much room with too much stuff. And that all fits right together and goes in this mesh bag. Here is one you probably wouldn't think too much of. This is an important tool that you're going to need. You're going to need to be able to dig a latrine. You're going to need to be able to dig for traps, snares, things like that. You need, you need to be able to dig a hole. So you need something that's lightweight you can bring with you. And this little uh, trowel is a nice little hard plastic trowel you can purchase on Amazon. Um, I don't understand the price, but I will get a list of the things that I have in my pack as, long, as well as prices um, available for you to, to download and look at. So this is a trowel. You're going to need to be able to dig something up. This is a flashlight here, tactical flashlight. It is 300 looms. You can purchase these on Amazon. Uh, there are four packs for $19 or two packs for $12. So that's a, that's a really good little flashlight and a pretty good deal. I also have here a pry bar, a small pry bar crowbar here. Now you'd think doing this kind of stuff that you have to spend a lot of money. I really didn't. I paid a dollar for this. Part of the reason I'm making these videos is when I started this, when I wanted to make a bug out bag for the first time, I thought it was going to cost me a lot of money and I just didn't have the money to do it. So I put it off. And then I realized you do not have to have a lot of money. Um, so I'll be showing you and posting prices as well of the things that I have in my bag. Some things are more expensive than the others, but a lot of it you'd be surprised where you can get uh, cheap. This here is a uh, wire saw. You're going to be able to need to cut wood to make a fire um, if you need to. You never know. You just never know. So this is something that's small, a small item that you can kind of tag along. Just a, just a little wire saw, and it costs you a couple bucks, it's really not that expensive, and you'd be surprised how, how handy that comes, comes in. So, let's start. I also have here, uh, this is a personal item here that I have. You can order these um, tactical websites, you can get them on Amazon. This is just your run-of-the-mill collapsible baton. Uh, standard issue for police officers, you'd be surprised. There we go. Um, just a standard collapsible baton. You can get these, this is about $30 online. Um, something I keep on hand if I need to break something, get in somewhere, or to defend yourself. You never know what's going to happen or what the case may be. So we'll set that aside as well. Another thing that 
you would not you'd be surprised about is a bandana. You need a good bandana, whether it be to cover your face, to cover your eyes, keep your hair up, um, use it as a towel of some sort, wipe away sweat. A good bandana is a necessity. I just keep mine tied right to the top of my bag. That way, because I know it's going to be on my person just about at all times. One thing that's very important is have a very good sturdy water bottle. Now this does not hold a ton of water, but you need something that you can keep on your person to carry water. I'll show you another item I have for transporting water that's pretty collapsible <clears throat> and convenient. This is a Ranger bottle. I have personalized mine with a decal. Decal is available for purchase. Uh, this, this water bottle retails for approximately $16, $15, $16 at Walmart. It's called Ranger Bottle. It's stainless steel. Keeps things cold, keeps things hot. It's pretty convenient. But it, the most important thing is, is that it's sturdy, it's durable, and you're not going to break it by accident, you know, falling down a rock or dropping it. And that's what's important. So a good water bottle is an absolute necessity. <clears throat> Another thing that you really want to think too much of is bungee cords. I use this one, just a cheap little bungee, bungee cord, and I use this to bungee my pots to my bag because obviously you don't want to take up too much room in your bag and that's an item that can be carried on the outside. So bungee cords, I have a few more in here, something to, to look into. Once again, I got these at the dollar store. It doesn't need to be too much, you need to be able to strap stuff down. Over here, I have flight tape. And this is important for marking trails, this is important to leave signs, to be able to know where you're going. If you have no idea where you are and you need to venture out and find your way back, flight tape is always a good option. Okay, moving along. One thing that's very important is to be able to sanitize areas. So this is some antibacterial wet wipes. Um, it kills a lot of viruses, flus, and germs in general. It's very important to be able to sanitize areas where you may be preparing food, things like that. Another thing is personal hygiene. Deodorant is a must. You never, you don't really realize uh, how much personal hygiene is important, but it is. It is something that's very important. A good first aid kit is something that's also very important to have. I have a few different first aid items in here. You've got, you know, stitch kits. I also have a, a separate med kit and bag, and we'll go over that later and on. We just, I'm going to show you just a few first aid items today. In here, I have some cotton pads and cotton balls. Now, these items are important for starting fires for. Um, you know, making tinder, things like that, as well as first aid. There's, there's so many different uses. Start fires with them, um, dab wounds, use them as a plug for things, you never know. A sewing kit, it's also a must have. You need to be able to stitch up your uh, clothes if you, if you have one, or if you um, need to even stitch up a wound. That is something you can do with just your, your simple sewing kit. My sewing kit contains just a small little pair of scissors, I have some uh, threads, different colored threads, buttons, needles, there's a couple of safety pins in here. Um, just, some, just some small items uh, to be able to mend things if need be. Now this is a, a three day pack, but you are going to find that I, I carry other things in my bag besides uh, things you would need for three days. I, I tend to do a little more long term thinking with some of my items, and that's just from my, my personal standpoint. Now I also have a uh, spool here of fishing line. Um, it's 12 pound, uh, about 100 yards. You never know, fishing line can come in handy. You can do stitches with this, you can lash things together, you can make snares and traps uh, with fishing line. So in addition to fishing with it. So that is also a very important item. Here's some triple antibiotic ointment. This is just kind of stuck in here because I, I keep a couple of tubes. This is an important thing to be able to battle germs. If you, even just the smallest paper cut can be uh, mean death in, in the event of an emergency. So you need to be able to keep it clean and, and keep it disinfected. Sunscreen. You don't realize, once again, sun rays are, if you don't have shelter, if you don't have constant place to be out of the sun, sunscreen is very important. Now we're going to pause for the time being and move on to the second edition to this because it's going to take a few episodes to really unbox this entire thing. So we're going to have a few installments. So that is the end of the first installment. So click the link down below to find the second part two of unboxing my bug out bag.